One of the more exciting moments of being a barbecue enthusiast is when you receive a new grill or smoker. Getting it set up all in place, installing those tweaks and add-ons is definitely a great feeling. Today we are doing just that as we do a walk around and add-ons on the new Old Country G2 smoker right here on Al Lunacy Queuing. Well my good people, my Old Country G2 smoker finally arrived after being delayed twice and it couldn't have come at a better time since this cooler weather is finally among us. Let me give you a few specs before we do a walk around. Total cooking space is over 1300 square inches when you include the two grates, 26 inches in width, 69 inches in length and 70 inches in height. I had already gotten a few accessories for it, let's see if they fit. So right off the bat we're going to see if these thermometers actually screw, I think they do. Yes they do, right in place. There we go. So I got the two temp gauges on guys, so uh, just a quick walk around. I just put some oil up there so this could uh, swing a lot easier. And I'm gonna oil this down. I'm gonna do the burning just right now. I'm gonna leave it on the crate for right now. Then we'll show you the firebox real quick. It has this killer, killer big handle. And then these, uh, I guess the sliding door. It's kind of upward, you see that? But I'm gonna grease this all up or oil it all up. Uh, you can see the chamber in there to the main chamber and uh, look how thick that wall is. That uh, wool, wool double wall. Oh, this is kind of heavy. Uh, there it is, quarter inch steel all the way around. There's collector right at great level, so great. Sliding grill. We have a tuning plate here that you can move around, also quarter inch, and the baffle that's removable also. There's the drain plug. I'm gonna have to get a grease bucket. But yeah, you can, it's kind of sticky, you can see all that. I'm gonna do the burn in. Look at the uh, reinforcements there. Really well constructed. You gotta kind of swing it open. Could be that it's still on the crate. That's why it's kind of high, higher for me. But we'll get it burned in. Uh, I do have a cover for this. I'll have the cover on the uh, video description also. I'll make sure it fits. And uh, remember the temp gauges. They, they fit perfectly. And that will be also on the video description. You can see the door hinges. They have a door stop here on top to stop the door. They're a little bit different from the previous design. Let's see if the cover I bought fits. This is a covers uh, deluxe smoker cover. Uh, I read that it also covers the Brasos. So if you guys are, are having trouble finding a cover for the Brasos, also uh, this will work. But now guys, one thing I didn't know and it might be I don't know. Uh, I opened this up and it has uh, some sealers. I didn't order this. So I don't know if they threw it in as a bonus, but that's nice. There it is, guys. A coverette. Uh, it fit right there. It's kind of, uh, you know, kind of angles up. So to cover the stack and the end right here totally fit up to the end of the uh, firebox. So looks good, guys. Let me get you a shot of the temp gauges that glow in the dark. These I ordered off of Amazon. I do have the link in the video description as well as for the cover. Uh, both links will be in the video description. And as we walk around to the firebox, you can see the uh, draw is very, very good on this pit. I'm very impressed so far. This was the next day and you can see how efficient the firebox burns the wood. Now that we did the burn in, I'm looking forward to future cooks. But before we do that, we will be doing a biscuit test. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to check that out. Don't forget to comment and like as well. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. We'll see you on the next one.